Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be doing a video on Episode 10, this is my review, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so The Flash has finally returned, this is the mid-season premiere. This episode, overall, was very good, it started off really well, and it ended really, really strongly. At the middle bit, you know, there was parts where I was like, I was enjoying it, but m some of the bits were just a bit, you know, irrelevant. I didn't really particularly take a liking to the second meta of the week. I actually liked Weather Witch a lot more than I did prior, so, you know, that's a good thing. But anyway, I think the episode really started off strong and ended strong. Let's break it all down right here in this video. So, the thing that everyone's going to be talking about, what the hell is going on with the Reverse Flash? So the episode starts off with Nora and Reverse Flash as we ended off at the mid-season finale, which was the 100th episode. So Nora is still here in 2049, and so they talk to each other, and essentially what we should get out of this is that he can't be trusted, and that Nora does not trust him, and so Thorne actually thought that Nora knew about him murdering her, her grandmother and everything like that, so that wasn't like him hiding it, he actually genuinely thought that Iris would have told him, would have told Nora that, and so I believe this is all going to loop back around to the fact that Nora had the dampening chip inside of her, and Iris didn't want her to become a speedster, didn't want her to know about the Flash or, you know, any of the superhero stuff. And I believe that's probably why she never actually mentioned Reverse Flash to Nora, the fact that, yeah, your grandmother was killed by Reverse Flash and it just so happens you're working with him now. And so that's the start of the episode, so it started off really, really strongly, because that's what we were all looking forward to in this episode, especially, like, the middle bit, we're all like, okay, it looks kind of cool, whatever, but we want to see the reverse Flash and Nora scenes, and it really delivered. Okay, so now moving to the end, we're going to talk about the middle bit of the episode just after, because we're going to talk about the most important stuff first. So, at the end of the episode, Nora revisits reverse Flash, in 2049 and remember for, throughout this entire episode Nora has been getting essentially a lesson the whole episode was about second chances and so Nora was learning to accept and give these people second chances and so Weather Witch came around in the episode and Nora at first was in denial that a criminal can become you know not a criminal anymore and so she didn't want to give Weather Witch another chance even though she was trying to help Nora and to stop this new meta and so by the end of the episode like I said Nora revisits Reverse Flash Eobard Thorn in 2049 in Iron Heights and we get a major reveal and there is a timer on the wall and Thorn says time is not on my side there is very few left in regards to minutes and seconds and the timer is on about 51 minutes and 50 seconds or so as it's ticking down. So what the hell is going on here? It seems like something is coming for him or he's going to die or what's going to be happening. I think Nora is aiding him in some way. I don't think it's for evil intent. I think something is after him. Could it be the Black Flash? Could it be the Time Wraiths? Is the timeline catching up to him or is it something else? Like what on earth is going on? This is a major cliffhanger and so time is not on his side proving the link between you know death and you know that time's running out so is he gonna die is reverse flash gonna die i think something along those lines is happening i think it's gonna be a massive twist when it's finally revealed but i really like that they used that timer and the wording and the way they wrote the dialogue was really clever and you know the fact that his time is running out, he doesn't have those minutes, he doesn't have those seconds, he doesn't have all of that time that a lot of these other people do, and so Nora's been gone for a long time, he says, and so at the start of the episode revealed that he taught Nora to time travel, he taught her to do all of this, to use her powers, and he was the one that gave her the chance to run with the Flash and to team up, and now he, she doesn't believe him, she doesn't trust him, but by the end of the episode she reveals she doesn't trust him still, but she's willing to give Eobard the chance because she has that talk in the middle of the episode with Barry when Barry's docked away, Barry's sidelined for most of this episode, and he has that chat with Nora, and they reveal that even Barry thinks 
Thorn could have a second chance and Thorn potentially could actually become a good person if he developed and as Thorn explains to her at the start of the episode, he used to be good, he used to want to be like the Flash, like Nora is exactly basically how he is, but he knew that he couldn't become the Flash, he couldn't do that, he was destined to become the villain, he was destined to become Reverse Flash. And so, in this episode, I think there's a strong parallel between Nora and Reverse Flash and what's going to be happening next, and at the end of the episode, Reverse Flash says to Nora, you either trust me, or you don't, and so Nora's giving him a second chance, and I've got a feeling this is gonna bite her in the back, because Thorn, obviously we know we can't trust him, even if you give him a second chance, maybe for a while he'll be good, but then he will betray you, I'm sorry, but there's no doubt about that, and so Nora's last line of the episode is, what's next, as in, what do you need me to do in order to perhaps save you, or to carry out your schemes and we know from that prior episode she was in that future speed force language that she made up in those symbols she said the timeline is malleable so something to do with that timer and the fact that his time is running out maybe is due to him being stuck in this specific time period maybe he has to run away from the black flash or the time race and so he needs the timeline to be malleable and he needs to be able to bend the timeline in a specific way and so Nora is essentially his agent on the outside because somehow she can get into Iron Heights and do all of this but he is unable to do it, it seems like he has no speed but he does have Gideon still so it's really really intriguing what's going to be happening next, I'm really excited. So let's talk about the middle part of the episode really quick because I don't have much time. So Caitlin and Cisco. In this episode, they're developing a Metacure, and in this episode, Killer Frost interferes, she destroys the thing when Cisco's trying to actually make it, and by the end of the episode, they come around, and Caitlin and Cisco will be working together to find this Metacure to give people the option to take away their powers if they don't want them, and so that's going to be a big thing in how they're going to try and stop Cicada, so we'll have to wait and see as to how far along that actually goes, and like I mentioned earlier, this is sort of like the Fast and Furious type episode. I didn't really like the second Metahuman, but Weather Witch was actually pretty good. I actually really enjoyed her. I thought she was much better. I didn't like her when she first appeared in a few episodes back. So, you know, a big step up. Looking forward to what's going to be happening next. I would say that she is probably going to return and they dropped the line that they are the young rogues and we know they were planning to do this for a while and so we saw another photo of one of those other metas the annoying one from like episode two or something like that with the phone i really hated her i really hope she didn't come back i think she was probably the worst thing about this season so far i've loved this season and i can't give it enough praise apart from that one person and also this new person this week the military girl she was really, really cliche and she was just talking really slowly, trying to be a villain. It really, really just didn't work for me. That was the only part of the episode where I was like, huh. And also some of the chase scenes, they weren't very well filmed. I, obviously, they don't have too much knowledge and too much history on The Flash in regards to them doing chase scenes and things like that. So, I would say... That was probably the weakest part of the episode in terms of the meta of the week, but I think Weather Witch stepped up and, like I mentioned earlier, Barry was sidelined for most of this episode and I think this was mainly due to scheduling conflicts because they were still filming Christ they were still filming the crossover at this time when they started this, so it was a bit of overlap and obviously Barry was doing the most filming, that being Grant Gustin, so that is probably why he was locked away. And we had Cecile back and we got a mention of Joe finally. We know Joe's returning in episode 15, so look forward to that. But for now, this episode was a great start to the back half of the season. And I think a lot of us are really looking forward to seeing how they progress this Nora and Eobard story. Because I think there is so much potential and I'm just really, really ecstatic because... That ending with Sherlock in Gideon's room, in that room, and also with Reverse Flash and how they end off with Nora saying, what's next, What essentially what do I need to do, and how they started the episode, I think that is by far the most interesting thing, and I think there's a really, really massive amount of 
amazing stuff to look forward to when we actually return for next week's episode. I will be breaking down the trailer, but I don't think I'm going to be having enough time to do it tonight. So if I do have time, I'll do it. But if I don't, it'll be up tomorrow. So just a pre-warning just in case it doesn't come out tonight. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Shut free.